Imagine a moment where every single person on Earth jumps at the exact same time. Sounds harmless, right? But what if I told you that this seemingly simple act could unleash forces that would literally shake the planet? What would really happen if we all jumped together? This is one of those wild ideas that seems too bizarre to actually matter, but the truth is far more fascinating and maybe even a little terrifying. From ground-shaking consequences to atmospheric ripple effects, we're diving deep into the science of what happens if humanity unites for one massive jump. Stick around to the end because the answers might blow your mind, literally. The concept of everyone jumping at the same time might sound like a fun thought experiment, but it's also one of those questions that forces us to think about the incredible scale and interconnectedness of our planet. First off, can 8 billion people, even if perfectly coordinated, generate enough energy to actually make a noticeable impact? Or would it be like throwing a pebble into the ocean? And if it does create an impact, could there be unintended consequences like earthquakes, tsunamis, or even changes in our atmosphere? To find out, we'll explore everything from basic physics to real-world examples of seismic events caused by human activity. Let's start with the logistics. Earth's population currently sits at around 8 billion. If everyone were to jump simultaneously, we'd need a perfectly flat area roughly the size of Rhode Island just to fit us all comfortably. Now, let's assume everyone jumps one foot into the air and lands at the same time. That's a lot of coordination. But let's ignore the practicalities for a moment and focus on the physics. When a person jumps, they apply force downward on the ground. Newton's third law tells us that for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. So, when we push down on the Earth, the Earth pushes back up with equal force. Multiply that by 8 billion people, and you've got a significant amount of energy being transferred into the ground. An average human weighs about 137 pounds, or 62 kilograms. Jumping generates a force several times greater than a person's weight, so let's conservatively estimate that each person produces about 500 newtons of force during a jump. Multiply that by 8 billion people, and you've got approximately 4 trillion newtons of force being applied to the Earth. But what does that mean? For comparison, earthquakes release energy on a far greater scale. A magnitude 4 earthquake, for instance, releases about 63 terajoules of energy, far beyond what our collective jump would generate. So, it's unlikely we'd trigger an actual earthquake, but we could produce measurable ground vibrations. In 2011, during a World Cup soccer match, fans jumping in unison caused seismic activity in Mexico City, registering on local seismometers, and that was just a stadium full of people. Imagine scaling that up to the entire human population. However, seismic waves dissipate as they travel through the ground, so the vibrations caused by our jump would weaken quickly. Even if we all landed simultaneously, the energy would spread out, making it unlikely to cause major structural damage. But what about the air above us? When 8 billion people land simultaneously, they displace a colossal amount of air. This creates a pressure wave that could ripple outward, similar to the shock wave caused by a small explosion. Scientists estimate that such a wave could generate localized changes in air pressure, potentially affecting weather patterns, though these effects would likely be temporary. If this global jump became a regular event, say an annual tradition, it could start to have long-term consequences. Repeated pressure waves might disrupt ecosystems, and the cumulative vibrations could strain tectonic plates in already vulnerable areas. And let's not forget the chaos of organizing 8 billion people into one place. Talk about a logistical nightmare. The most mind-blowing part? The Earth itself would actually move, albeit imperceptibly. Because of the force we applied downward during the jump, the Earth would briefly shift in the opposite direction, similar to the recoil of a gun. Don't worry, though. The movement would be so minuscule that it wouldn't affect Earth's orbit. Still, the idea of 8 billion people momentarily shoving the planet is enough to give you chills.